Greetings. Psychoanalyzing MAGA. Not an easy job. I saw Hillary Clinton on a podcast the other day saying she couldn't figure it out. Uh, so who's trying, where are we with this? Um, the Midas touch is uh, the best overall news provider for uh, about the Trump crime family. They have the weekend show with Anthony Davis where he has experts on to try to psychoanalyze MAGA. Uh, a recurring expert is Dr. Stephen uh, Hassan, Jewish, who was in the Moonies and got himself unprogrammed from the Moonies and is now a cult deprogrammer. He, he makes his living helping rescue people from cults. And uh, then Mary Trump, as we know, is a licensed, is a clinic, is a PhD psychologist and she's tried to figure it out. I haven't really gotten the psychoanalysis from her on that. Uh, but I know she's trying. So in the most recent episode uh, with the weekend show, Anthony Davis interviewing Dr. Hassan, he says, he, Dr. Hassan says that when he was in the Moonies, if they had told him to do uh, a, a felony crime to advance the Mooney cause, he would have done it. <laughs> Uh, and this is important, actually, because how do you, how do we get into the heads of the, of the people, you know, that are so insane, right? Um, and then uh, the Zimbardo experiment, which I've addressed before, but I, I need to keep raising. Uh, if you recall, Philip Zimbardo was a Yale PhD who did a famous, famous experiment uh, to try to figure out at, at, at Stanford University back in 1972, how, how could Hitler have gotten uh, the Germans to commit all these atrocities? How? And so he did an experiment where they had a experimental prison. Uh, the, in this particular phase of it, there were experimental subjects uh, who were designated as the prison guards. And the test was to see how far would they go if they were ordered, you know, because the, the, the defense so many Germans had was, I was just following orders. So the experimental, so, so Dr. Zim, uh, Zimbardo, who was the uh, director of this prison in the experiment, told the experimental subjects who were the prison guards, look, uh, the prisoners have had a rebellion here. We've got to uh, discipline them and we need to do it with electric shock. So then he told the uh, experimental subjects who were the prison guards, he didn't tell them that the, the, the inmates were actually actors, but he said, look, you're gonna have to administer shocks, electric shocks to these prisoners because they've, they've, they've had a rebellion and we've got to get them disciplined or there's, they're gonna be, there's gonna be chaos in the prison. We can't feed them, this and that. They'll try to break out. And um, so they would, the experimental subjects would administer a shock, right? Which you, you and I can put ourselves there. Um, but then the gradient of shock was like mild, moderate, severe, fatal. And so he took them all the way to fatal. And then you had the actors uh, pretending to be inmates, but you know, they were good actors, so they were convincing, uh, literally dying uh, in, you know, at the response of the pressing the fatal button. So the, the experimental subjects <clears throat> would press the fatal button, even though it said straight up, you know, fatal. And, uh, and then the, the actor would die, uh, which unfortunately, I mean, it's a gruesome thing. The, the Holocaust was very gruesome. Uh, so, but it, it tells us that there's a dimension uh, in all of us uh, that is willing to follow orders to commit crimes uh, so does this help us in understanding MAGA? I'm afraid we have to try to go there, you know.